back to You Can Cook. I'm Karen Belmore, Registered Dietitian. Making mistakes in the kitchen can happen to anyone at any time in the cooking process. So today we're gonna to talk about some common mistakes that can happen and how you can save your dish from heading into the garbage. So mistake number one, your dish is too salty. Simply add more of everything that you have in your dish. So if it's a soup, add more liquid. If it's a stew, add more vegetables or meat. Browning them first works even better. Once that salt is diluted, your dish should be back on track. You can also try to add a little sugar. The sweetness helps to balance the saltiness. But remember that a little goes a long way. So start slow and taste as you go. Mistake number two, your dish is too sour. Sourness comes from acidic ingredients, including tomatoes, wine, and vinegar. If your dish tastes too sour, try to add sweetness. Think sugar, honey, cream, or even caramelized onions, which become tender and sweet as they cook. But only if onions complement your dish, of course. You can also dilute the dish, same as you would with a dish with too much salt, by adding more of the ingredients you are using or liquid. Mistake number three, your dish is too spicy. You can immediately counteract it with dairy, such as cream or butter. Dairy contains casein, a fat-loving compound that binds with spicy compounds and then washes it away. If the spiciness is from non-pepper sources, you can also fix it with a touch of cream or butter. Also effective is a pinch of sugar. You can also add more ingredients to lessen the proportion of the spicy element. Whatever ingredients you have extra of. Mistake number four, your dish is too bland. When a dish is too bland, the first thing to do is add a pinch of salt, which brings out all of the other flavors. You can also add a pinch of sugar to bring out sweetness or a splash of vinegar to bring out sour notes. As with anything mentioned, use caution because a little goes a long way. Mistake number five, you overcook or undercooked your pasta. If you overcook your pasta and now have a mushy mess, quickly remove only the pasta, leaving the water in the pot in case you do have to start over, and put it into a strainer and run cold water over it. Then drain it gently, but thoroughly, and fry it up in a hot pan coated with olive oil. It should crisp up on the outer surface. Undercooked pasta is much easier to remedy than overcooked pasta. If you save the water or have time to reboil a pot, you can boil it again and place the pasta in for another minute at a time. If you didn't save the water, you can toss the pasta in whatever sauce you are planning on serving with it and cook it together in a skillet set to low. Remember, cooking is about having fun and learning. Not everything will be a masterpiece, but with the tricks you learned today, you can help save any mishaps that do happen. Be sure to check out weechu.org slash you can cook for more tips and recipes. Happy cooking!